नमस्कार डियर लर्नर्स आई सी अंकुर कुमार वेलकम यू ऑल टू द स्टूडियो ऑफ एन आई ओ एस टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कंप्यूटर एंड कंप्यूटराइज अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम सो लेट्स वॉट आर दी ऑब्जेक्टिव वेन आई टॉक अबाउट कंप्यूटर एंड कंप्यूटर अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम नंबर वन डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द कंप्यूटर एंड इट्स लिमिटेशन सेकेंड एक्सप्लेनिंग द रोल ऑफ द कंप्यूटर इन अकाउंटिंग थर्ड डिफ्रेंशिएटेड बिटवीन मैनुअल अकाउंटिंग एंड कंप्यूटराइज अकाउंटिंग फोर्थ explaining the accounting information system fifth description of the basic requirements of the computerized accounting and the sourcing of the accounting systems just imagine when there was no computers however the accounts would have been prepared from the many past previously the accounts would have been prepared in bahi khata so just imagine uh, voluminous books of accounts voluminous manual accounting entries and for example there would have been any errors in the books of recording er accounting entry how the same has been could be rectified after implementation of the computer in india there has been more implementation towards the accounting entries through computers and computer services so let's now discuss about how it has changed our accounting process what is computer all of us know about computer today every one of us is using computer or a laptop computer is an electronic device that can perform a variety of operations in accordance with a set of instructions called program it is a fast data processing electronic machine computer is a device that transforms data into an information so computer i do not need to explain in detail what is computer all of us know as of now what is a computer and we will discuss in detail how this computer has helped us out with respect to the accounting processes following are the characteristics of a computer number 1 speed storage accuracy diligence versatility communication and processing power what are the components of a computer number 1 is the data when the data goes into the input now it is being processed through a cpu and we get an output which is called an information what do you mean by data and what do you mean about information so data is a raw data raw what we collect from here and there is the data what we get as an output is an information information is always a meaningful a meaningful example of a data or meaningful uh, of a raw data what we have input in the computer system what are the characteristics of a computer there are seven characteristics of a computer number 1 speed second is storage third is accuracy fourth is diligence fourth is versatility fifth is communication and sixth is the processing power let me explain you about all these characteristics speed the accounting entries or the entries which are being processed through the computer is being processed very quickly that's how the speed help us out with respect to the passing an accounting entry second is storage the computer can store the data it is being stored in the hard disk of the uh, computer therefore going forward after years of the account, passing an accounting entry we can use such storage again to use that data whenever it is required third is accuracy we discussed about errors and accounting errors which happens and there could be totaling difference errors happening in the file passing and accounting entry in the computer system we can ensure there's a accuracy with respect to the totaling is there the computer system is being designed such a way that it can it can calculate the amount with accuracy fourth is diligence diligence the amount which is being prepared through the computer system is being done diligently fourth fifth is versatility versatility is means there are number of uh, things which can be used through a computer fifth is communication it the computer can be used through communicating the amount through either through a gmail or through any other modes of communication last is processing power if i talk about processing power it can be correlated to the speed of processing the accounting entries let's now discuss about what are the components of the computer system 
the computer system has got when we put up the data into the input unit, the computer process the same in through the storage and through the CPU, it generates the output which is called information. Let us now discuss about what is data and what is information. Data is a raw information, what we collect from here and there and is not meaningful is called data. When the same is being given an in a meaningful thing, it is called information. Therefore, the computer helps us as an accountant to process the accounting entries from a data to meaningful information. Let us now discuss about what are, what are the limitations of a computer. There are majorly five limitations of a computer, however, it can be more. Let us now discuss what are the limitations of a computer. Number one, cost of installation, second, cost of training, third, self decision making, fourth, maintenance, fifth, danger for the health. What do you mean by cost of installation? As we all know, computer is a system which is, is bit costly. It can range from a 10, 15,000 to n number of rupees. Therefore, the installation of a computer is costly as compared to the manual accounting entries. After installing a computer, there again training is also required. Therefore, training, correct training is required to use the computer in a correct manner. Third, self decision making. Computer misses the basic principle which is self decision making. As a human being, we can make a self decision while passing an accounting entry or while doing any transactions. Computer is a machine, it cannot make any decisions on behalf of their own self. Fifth, fourth is maintenance. Maintenance of a computer is required. To maintain the computer, there could be annual maintenance so that the machine is being utilized in a correct manner. Last is dangers for the health. The computer system can affect our eyes and it can affect to the health as well. Now, let us now discuss about what are the roles of a computer in the accounting. While recording a transaction in the respective accounting vouchers, there could be sales, purchase and both the sale purchase goes into the ledgers and the ledgers impacts our trial balance. So, after preparing a trial balance, there is a trading and a statement of profit and loss account and a balance sheet. All these accounting entries can be passed through the computer and the computer systems. What are the silent features of computer added systems? Number one, it is simple and integrated. Number two, transparency and control. Third, accuracy and speed. Fourth, scalability. Fifth, reliability and last performing various functions with accuracy. Let us now discuss about each characteristics. Number one, simple and integrated. This computer can help us out with passing an accounting entry with simplicity and it can be used through going forward through a storage devices as well and it is in integrated as well. While passing an accounting entry in a computer added systems, we can use these the entries which we, what we have passed today in future as well and we can recheck if in case their area error have been happen. Number second, transparency and control. What do we mean by controls? So, it provides a sufficient time to plan, increase the data, accessibility and enhances user satisfaction. Third, accuracy and speed. It provides user definable templates, data entry schemes or forms for fast accurate data entry of the transactions. The counting entry can be processed through accuracy and speed both. Fourth, scalability. It enables in the changing the volume of the data processing in tune with the change in the size of a business. For example, the, uh, the business has just started. However, business has increased to n number of uh, turnover. The computer, same computer can help us out with a 0 rupees of turnover to a 1000 crore rupees of a turnover. Fourth, fifth, reliability. It makes sure that the generalized critical financial information is accurate, controlled and secured. Therefore, we can rely the counting entries which has been processed through a computer and a computer added systems. Last, performing various functions with accuracy. Accounting software is used to perform the function of accounting. Therefore, the accounting is being processed with a accuracy through a computer added systems. Let us now discuss about uh, what are the softwares. So, there could be one time activities, second is recurring activities. When we talk about one time activities, 
it includes organization details, accounting years, type of ledgers, creation of a master file and so on. When I talk about recurring activities, it could be entry of transactions and generation of the reports. So, in the computer system, there are masters in place and therefore, when we talk about one time activities, we need to fit the accounting, uh, one time activities includes filling of the organization details, XYZ private limited, this is the accounting year, what are the type of ledger as per the accounting records, creation of the master file as per the accounting records and so on. Next is recurring activities which include every transaction is being recorded in the accounting records and generation of reports as and when it is required. What are the silent features of computer error system? Number one, password security, second data audit, third data vault. When I talk about password security, password is a mechanism which enables a user to access a system including a data. The system facilitates defining the user right according to the organization policy. Therefore, the password security helps us so that our data is being protected from third party users. Second data audit, this feature enable us one to know who and what changes have been made in the original data, thereby helping and fixing the responsibility of a person who has manipulated the data and also ensures data integrity. The data, when we talk about data audit, there is a data log also being maintained in a computer data system. In case there are changes happen in a data log, we can get to know who has done the data violation in the data log. Last is data vault. Software provides additional security through data encryption. Encryption essentially scrambles the information so as to make interpretation extremely difficult. What are the functions of a computer added systems? One is payroll processing, second is transaction recording, third are ledgers, fourth is trial balance and fifth is preparation of the financial statements which includes statement of profit and loss account, trading account and the balance sheet at the year end. What are the advantages of a computer added systems? Let us discuss. We discussed about security, we discussed about scalability, large volume of transactions, timely reporting, lower cost, less paperwork, flexible reporting, queries handling, accurate and accuracy of the data, updation for and preparation of our financial statements. Therefore, the computer added system help us out in number n number of ways. What are the limitations of the computer added systems? There are majorly four limitations of computer added systems. One is controls, second is data corruption, third is compu trained computer operations, fourth is limited of a software. When I talk about controls, we, we, we said a couple of minutes back, we discussed about the password security. If adequate controls are not built and where built are not followed, it can lead to loss of the data. It is important to take backups at the regular intervals to avoid such a situations. Next is the data corruptions. The data can be get corrupted through various that may come into the uh, through the internet or the use of the external input devices without scanning them for the viruses. If the viruses come into the system, the data gets corrupted. Next is trained computer operate operators. We discussed a couple of minutes back what are the limitations in a computer. We need a trained trainings. Therefore, if we do not have a trained computer operators, therefore it can lead to a loss of a data. Last is limitation of a software. Every software cannot do everything. Therefore, a computer is dependent on a software and we are dependent on how the software is going to perform. So, every software has got pros and every software has got a cons. Therefore, there could be some limitation of a software as well. So, let us discuss about accounting information systems. It includes revenue, expenditure, conversions and administrations. When I talk about revenue, it talks about sales, cash collections and sales returns. Expenditure, it talks about purchase, purchase returns, cash disbursement and the payroll. Conversion, planning, resource management and logistics. Administration, it includes capital, investment and general ledger. Therefore, the accounting information systems help an organization to manage the whole accounting process of an organization, which by through revenue, expenditure and the administration of the overall accounting of the organization and planning well of the accounting entries. Therefore, cash and there, there are sub subsystems 
of cash and bank, sales account, inventories, payroll accounts, fixed accounts, fixed assets accounts, expense accounting, tax accounting, final accounts, costings, budget, management and purchase accounts. This is called sub ledgers of a main ledgers. Therefore, these sub ledgers contribute to the main ledgers and how the trial balance is being drafted for an organization. Let us now discuss about comparison about how the manual records were maintained and how the data has been maintained through a computer at the system. Let us talk about recording. In the manual process recording or transaction is through books of original entries. In the other way the data content is stored in well structured form. Classifications, transactions recorded are further classified by posting into the ledger accounts. This results into duplicity. In the computer address systems, no data duplications are done. Summarizing, transactions are summarized to produce trial balance by ascertaining the balance of various accounts in a manual process. However, in a computer address systems, the generation of a ledger accounts is not necessarily conditioned for preparing of a trial balance. Therefore, trial balance can be prepared even without generating the sub ledger accounts. Fourth, adjusting entries. The, it's very difficult to pass an adjusting entries while preparing a books of account as per the manual way. However, in a, in a system of a computer added system, we really do not need to make any adjustments. Financial statements, the, the preparation of financial statement is very difficult while preparing the books account as per the manual process. However, in the computer added system, it is very easy to prepare the books of accounts. What are the accounting softwares? There could be three ways of accounting softwares. One is ready-made software, another is customized software, third is tailor-made software. In fact, customized software and a tailor-made software is one or the same thing. Majorly ready-made softwares, when I talk about ready-made software, there are number n number of ready-made softwares in the market, which includes Tally, which includes uh, SAP, which, could, which includes Oracle, which includes many more software, which are readily available in the organization in the market. However, this is very costly at the time of implementation and these are utilized. Other is uh, customized and a tailor made software. Generally some of the organizations prepare their own so software basis of the nature of the transaction and basis of the nature of the business of the company. Therefore, while uh, making a decision of what type of software is being done used, it is very important to know what is the nature of the business of a company. So, what are the factors affecting this uh, is in while deciding the uh, what software needs to be done. Number one, it should be flexible. Second, cost of installation and maintenance. Third, size of an organization. Fourth, ease of adaption and the training needs. Fifth, expected level of secrecy. Sixth is exporting and importing data facility. The software should be very flexible so that it could be used and customized as per the user needs. Installation and maintenance should be less costly. Size of the organization also depends and it impacts how costly of the uh, software to be implemented. Adaption uh, training needs to be taken care of, secrecy of the data needs to be maintained and exporting and the importing data should be done. So there are various type of uh, accounting entries which include data entry, data validation, processing and revalidation, storage, information and reporting which is called transaction processing system TPS. What is the need and requirement of a computer accounting? Why do we need a computerized accounting? Because there are a number of transactions, instant reporting, reduction in the paperwork, flexible reporting, accounting queries, online facility, scalability, accuracy and securities. All these have been discussed in detail couple of minutes back. To summarize, we discussed about computer added systems. What are the features of the computers, what are the, how the accounting entries are being processed in the computers, what are the limitations of the computer, what are the advantages of computers, what are the challenges we face while doing the transactions through a computer, what are the softwares which can be done, it could be customized, it could be tailor made, it could be ready made software and while choosing any software we should be there, it is a diligent process which software needs to be done. I hope dear learners you would have learned about this and you would have liked our thing. Thank you.